<laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is time to introduce to you my new UTV truck. That's right, I said truck, because this thing has a, it just looks like a truck, and we're gonna check it out. Quick march plug for googansquad.com. Hunter die. Y'all, we just killed a deer right here. It died, I didn't. Click the link down below, check out some of the fresh merch at googansquad.com for the fall harvest season, y'all. Oh, goodness gracious, that's cactus. Everything out here wants to, no, that's a mesquite, young mesquite. Everything wants to poke you uh, and get you. Uh, luckily, I have not ran into any rattlesnakes, uh, but it is a very tough terrain out here. I attempted to take my, uh, my adventure wagon, my white truck, down the road a little bit and then quickly realized that was not gonna happen. Very rough roads. Uh, basically, the only way to get around out here at the new lease is with an ATV. So I decided I needed one. I found one on sale. It's kind of weird. I think that's why it was on sale, <laughs> but I think it's really cool. And um, we just loaded our first animal in it last night. And uh, it's, it's amazing for doing that. It literally is a truck. So let's go check out the new UTV. get a shoo shoo shout out to my boy flair man y'all this thing is a truck it is literally a truck you know some some people like to get like old toyotas and, and stuff like that old tacomas and everything for the ranch because real light and uh real versatile this look at the daggum hey let's get this thing in the sunlight over here take a good gander There it is, my friends. Placeholder name right now is the Meat Wagon. I want you to leave a comment down below and help me name uh, this deer truck. I mean, that's basically what it is. So let's go over uh, what it is, why I got it, what's all on it, all the doodads, little trinkets, and all that fun stuff. This is a Can-Am HD10 Defender XT. Pro XT, we'll get to in a second. Made by Burp. That's right, old Burp, making a lot of fun toys out there. So when I got on this lease and I quickly realized I can't get around in my truck. I mean, I am going to scratch it to hell, probably break it going down the roads. Not enough clearance to even get around in some places. I knew I needed one and then I started looking at used ones and things and they're going so fast because it's hunting season. And I really wanted one with like four seats you know, so I could carry around more people and whatnot. And then I came across this guy that had the super long bed and uh, it was on sale, I guess, because nobody wants the long bed. Why? Why though? Now, after driving this thing around, you want that long bed, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you, unless you, you, got, you want like a minivan situation, which is cool as well. I'm digging the truck side of things. So I found this one on sale. Uh, the place that they did like a weekend sale and they only had like one left. I was like, I'll, I'll take that daggum day. Give me that good deal. So it came with like a, a package. I think it has like a, uh, a little bit of a lift to it. I'm not sure what that goes along with like the HD or XD. I have no idea. This is literally my first uh, ATV, UTV, call it whatever, four wheeler truck thing. This is my first one. I've never owned one, but I've been in a bunch of them just riding around. And I will say like absolutely essential, especially in some of the places we have to get to out here that, uh, I mean, it's just cactus nasties. Uh, it does have a winch. We'll start in the front. Has a winch, has a bumper too, but uh, the bolts didn't come with it. So uh, I'm waiting on that. But you got a winch there so you can winch things. Maybe you get stuck. Probably, I'm not gonna do any mudding in this thing, so it's not gonna matter. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of clearance on this guy. I think it's 13 inches of clearance. And these tires are uh, 28 by nine in front. And it's got some little bit fatter ones back here. 
uh, yep, yeah, there's something sitting in there. The Bighorn 2.0 Maxis. And these are 28 by 11, so a little bit wider tire in the back. And this one did completely deflate last night, ran over a cactus and got back and it was totally deflated. I don't know why it's holding air right now. I can't hear it seeping out, but it's pumped up and we're gonna go with that. So most of the defenders you'll see running around on the ranches and stuff, they have uh, the four seats, you know, they got two rows. And this just deletes those rows and says, I, I just wanna be a truck. This truck bed right here is probably close to my actual truck. I mean, it's, it's probably five, uh, I don't know, it might even be five and a half feet or so. And it is a uh, hydraulic lift. So this is the this is the really cool part right here. I get we gotta get a wide angle of this too, but wabam, wabam. It's a dump truck, y'all. It's a dump truck. So uh, you know this thing would be excellent on the ranch, on the farm, and it is out here too, just for hauling things around. Maybe you gotta put up a bigger feeder. You got um, just a ton of corn you wanna haul out. Um, you know, maybe you got some sort of blind you want to put in there. Just a lot of extra room. You can put a whole elk in there, man. If you can get it up, maybe use the winch. I didn't even know this until I was up there getting it, but this actually converts right here to a flatbed. So you can uh, pull a couple of little deal deals and this thing will flatten out so you can have a complete flatbed truck. And it has tie downs and everything like that. So, you know, whatever you got to tie down. You can, the point is, you can haul a lot of stuff. You can haul big stuff much bigger stuff than you would on the regular version that has a much shorter bed. And to make up for the loss of uh, roofed cargo space, look at the secret compartments. I think I could literally fit in here. This is a huge compartment, y'all. I've got my hunting bag in there right now, that's about it. But let me undo the other side so you can see all the way through. There you go. It's just a big old hole down here. Um, you could put your bow case, your rifle cases down here. You could use this for all sorts of, you know, clothes storage, um, just accessories and stuff. I don't think you could fit a tire in there, but just all of your other stuff that you don't want to get wet. That's a super cool feature right there. I'm up in the cockpit. This is not enclosed. It has no doors. So pretty much base model when it comes to that. But we do have a roof. Keep that Texas sun off of us. Keep the mesquite trees from stabbing us in the face. There's no windshield. There's no AC. There's no heat, no, no music, no radios. Um, I do have a 12 volt plug here. So you can plug in your fun toys, stick them in there. Um, this is how you control the winch, is right here. Uh, of course, four wheel drive, you got four high, four low, and it's got a rear diff lock. Hey, you got your fun little compartments down there. You got a whole compartment here, a little glove box. It actually comes out. You can do what you will with that. It is quite roomy right here. I mean, I could I could seat my family in here. Get OSG, Emmy. So family ride up front, and then all about that business in the back. Man, I would call it mullet, like the mullet truck, but uh, that's probably already taken by mullet, man. I don't want to name it anyways. I'm going to leave it to you guys. Come up with some creative name leave me a comment down below wow bam what do you say we take it for a little test drive
camera down there, kept it safe. So while we got it out and running, we actually need to do some work out here today. Um, I do have a new blind I need to go set up. I need to uh, replace the batteries in one of the moultries that it stopped sending, sending pictures because it's low on battery. And I literally don't know all of the, the stands out here, the feeders, and plus I'd like to discover new places to put uh, maybe some new tree stands. This place is not set up for bow hunting. Uh, there's just that one one stand that I hunted in the other day. So the goal is to try to find some good draws and things like that that have trees. It's really hard to find good sturdy trees out here that are tall, that are effective. We got all these quarry roads coming in and out of here, kind of screwing some things up. So we were trying to figure out, well, where are the deer going to push uh, with all these people running through here? and uh, maybe have to figure out some new places, new locations and everything. So just check out all, all this room, y'all, in here. My whole bow case. But that takes a lot of room in my, up in my, my regular truck. And I mean, it's just room for days. I really like it. New blind, new feeder. Didn't even know they were here. Just riding around. The old deer truck. Just finding spots. So I think this is one we might have been looking for last time, and it is deep, like in the corner of the property. So what I'm gonna do, there's not a camera over here. Um, I don't have any cell cameras with me. I just have one. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this one up. Um, over there and it's just a standard camera so I'll have I'll have to go back and actually check the card and everything but um, it looks like all the corners gone looks like a lot of foot traffic in here to the back corner it looks really good it looks really good for a hog too and man this is set up pretty nicely I could put a bow blind in here somewhere. There's a lot of good back cover. You know, like set a bow blind up right in here. This might be a really good spot to sit for hogs. So I'm gonna look for some hog um, evidence. I may end up hunting for hogs here tonight. Just found a new pond. Let's see, let's see what we got in here. See some frogs? Ooh. Little snipe. Snipe birds. Let's see what kind of tracks we got. Cows, of course. And then you know, we gotta have some deer. And there's the old hog diddly. Be a cool spot to set up a blind for hogs too. Man. God, oh, this is this is a lot. This is a lot I haven't explored. I mean, look at this. This is bassy. This is bassy looking right here. Look at all those even grasshoppers jumping in the water right there. Let's see if any bluegill are going to eat them. No? No bluegill. God, man. Imagine the spring with turkeys up in there, you know what I'm saying? Mark this as a pond. And uh, we'll just continue. Continue in the UTV. Keep marking these things. And eventually get it all laid out. And then figure out the best places to put blinds and all that. It's really fun. It's kind of like a, a puzzle, you know? A real life puzzle. And figuring it out, like, what is going to make the deer stay in certain places, the draws, water. You know, of course, we got feeders here in Texas, but there's a lot of other factors that will hold bigger bucks so this is fun this is all a new adventure for me being on a lease and i'm excited y'all so let's keep exploring i might find some other cool stuff
right y'all we have done our exploring i have marked about six or seven different good hunting spots different blinds different stands ponds uh, feeders potential areas all sorts of goodness and overall opinions on the old burp unit here i like this thing y'all i mean i i wouldn't really wouldn't know because I, I haven't owned any other atvs but uh, the clearance is really good. There's some spots out here that are super nasty. Um, so the suspension's really good. And I love the load capacity. And just being able to just put my whole bow case. Um, you know, we should probably see how many hogs we could stack up in this thing. And that's the next thing I'm gonna do is go hog hunting. But don't forget to let me know in the comments what the name of this thing should be. I think it should be some sort of truck-based name though. You know, the meat truck, the deer truck. The, uh, the hog hauler, I don't know, just some examples. And if you're liking the lease videos, let me know in the comments and go ahead and give me that thumbs up. Um, I'm gonna spend a lot of time out here, I think. Um, I haven't even got into the fishing yet. I'm just, I keep seeing animals, I gotta chase them down. But thank you as always for tuning in and I'm wishing you the best in all of your outdoor adventures. God bless you. I'll see you soon.